There is one organ which causes high blood pressure, and it's not what you think. And there are specific exercises you can use to target and fix your blood pressure easily. No diet, lifestyle changes, or medication required. Check the link in the description below, but for now, today's question. Sure, absolutely. It'll give you one common example, renal failure. Your kidneys are crucial in blood pressure management, and high blood pressure is very common in kidney disease patients. It also causes kidney disease. Some of these patients have to take five blood pressure medicines to control their blood pressure and they may still have high values. At the same time, your kidneys make the hormone that prompts the bone marrow to make red cells, erythropoietin. If the kidneys, which get a ton of blood flow and do a ton of work, sense insufficient oxygen, blood flow, they make more, and maintain the hemoglobin concentration in a normal range. When the kidneys get sick or die, they don't make enough and the patient is going to be anemic. We give supplemental EPO to correct this, but only partly, due to reasons of both need, safety, and cost. Remember, anemia refers to the concentration of hemoglobin in the blood. Blood pressure, on the other hand, depends on the cardiac output, which in turn depends in part on volume, and the systemic vascular resistance which is how tightly squeezed down the arteries are. You can get 5 liters of saline and have hypertension and anemia, or you could bleed rapidly to half your current volume and get a critically low blood pressure but still have a normal hemoglobin concentration. Hmm I thought I answered this, but there are all types of anemia like sickle cell, thalassemias, iron and folic acid deficiency and pernicious anemia which is caused by lack of intrinsic factors or interference by medicines like H2 blockers such as Nexium. Anemia can be caused by slow leaks in the GI system that do not cause a BP drop. Medications can cause high blood pressure like NSAIDs or meds given by foreign the ICU. In the condition kidney failure lack of erythropoietin causes anemia, but also high blood pressure. The coexistence of atherosclerosis may also cause vascular changes which contribute to high blood pressure while the other conditions coexist. First of all, they don't need to be related. But if you're asking about one condition leading to both, having long-standing serious badly treated or even untreated high blood pressure might lead to serious kidney failure, which because of too little of, the red blood cell synthesis stimulating, erythropoietin is produced in the severely diseased kidneys cause anemia. First of all, they don't need to be related. But if you're asking about one condition leading to both, having long-standing serious badly treated or even untreated high blood pressure might lead to serious kidney failure, which, because of too little of, the red blood cell synthesis stimulating, erythropoietin is produced in the severely diseased kidneys cause anemia. Anemia is an iron deficiency. High blood pressure is like adrenaline in your heart the way it's pumping the blood through. If you are anemic, it should work as a more light blood pressure as you're lacking blood supply. Your body can't keep up in the process of restoring the blood. I'm not a doctor. But that's what I would think simply looking at it how my blood pressure acted when I was anemic once a month every month for many years until I had a hysterectomy. I would have low blood pressure, but not high as when you lack blood. It causes your body to become very weak, which would I believe cause your heart rate to slow down. Again, not a doctor just my own theory. 